Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. This is the TeacherCast Podcast. Welcome, everybody. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you so much for making TeacherCast your home for professional development. Today, we have a fantastic show with a fantastic EdTech product. MC Square is a great way to be creative in your classroom. Before we get to their interview today, there's, of course, several great ways that you can be a part of our show each and every week. We love it when you find us on Twitter at TeacherCast. Leave us a voicemail over at TeacherCast.net slash voicemail. Email us at feedback at TeacherCast.net. And, of course, subscribe to this and all of our shows over on teachercast.net slash iTunes and teachercast.net slash YouTube. And I start with these call signs today because this show is all about you. See, recently I was at an ed camp and somebody came up to me and said that they were designing the school of their future. What recommendations do I have for things? And we started talking about STEM and we started talking about laptops and tablet devices and they're like, no. That's not what I'm looking for. We're building a physical structure. We want awesome things for our walls. What do we put on the wall? And I said, I've got the best answer for here. I want to bring on two amazing guests. I have Anthony Franco and Travis Lockhart from a company called MC Squares, a fantastic new company on the ed tech scene. Anthony, Travis, welcome to the show. Welcome to TeacherCast. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Travis, I, I know that, you know, we're going to talk audio, we're going to talk video here, but right now, what is this thing behind you that we're looking at? I'm seeing squares and a spider web. Tell us all about this. Behind me is an MC square wall. Um, MC squares are, are simply a little square whiteboard um, that have magnets on the back, and we've created a mounting bracket so the, the tiles snap on a wall behind me. And the, and the reason why we created the system was to allow teachers to have that front of classroom teaching experience, but also be able to distribute um, individual tiles to their students for students to individually contribute and then bring it back together to a wall like the one I have standing behind me. You know, the neat part about this system here is that it's mobile. It's, it's something that kids can create with. You can have kids have an individual project that all works into one. And you know what? The collaboration in here is pretty fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the MC Square story. Well, uh, my background is uh, I, I founded a company that was in enterprise software consulting. Um, we focused on human-centered design practices, and I ran a ton of workshops and a lot of seminars and training and recognize that um, the pompous executive standing in front of the room probably wasn't the best way to facilitate ideas. And so I went on a quest on how do I solve that that facilitation collaboration problem. And I tried tablet applications. We tried interactive displays like smart boards. um, We tried post-it notes. And finally, out of frustration, I carved up the whiteboard in the room and handed it around, around the conference room. And it kind of opened up the room like magic. It, it, it changed the energy, the dry erase surface, the personal nature of it. And then we, and then being able to put it together back on a wall really brought the product first full circle. And looking at this, Travis, this is, this is really the next generation, you know, stone chisel thing where everybody had something and then we put it together here. Tell us a little bit about this. Like how, how big are these squares and uh, like how much do they weigh? Yeah, so they're about um, about 11 inches by 11 inches, so almost a foot, um, foot by foot um, in a square. Uh, and that's a size that we really found um, beneficial for students to be able to, to work with, but also um, it just really encourages people to hold them and, uh, and kind of have it as their own personalized space without feeling um, super vulnerable. Um, but we're also able to use that dimension to, uh, to build walls and, um, and clusters of squares um, that we call sets that people really um, get to kind of see the entire collaboration or the entire work that a group has put together. Anthony, in what ways are you seeing students use MC Squares? Well, um, it, it, it goes back to that individual um, effort. And, and, and one of the features, um, what we're seeing a lot of teachers do is the, the top pops off and there's these, dry, these, these pieces of paper underneath. So the dry erase surface itself is clear. And we're seeing teachers throw lesson plans underneath the dry erase surface and then having students write on top of the lesson plan and then bring it back to the wall. So it's, again, it's this, it's this individual student effort ba- based on their, um, their level of ability uh, to learn and grow individually, and then combine that together in a, in a more worldview in the classroom on how everybody's 
efforts combine into a bigger achievement. You know, Anthony, I've been doing podcasting now for almost five years and 600 shows. I've never asked anybody this question, but I'm going to ask you this now. Is your product machine washable? That's a great question. So one uh, big advantage of the MC Squares and big selling point for us is its durability. So every square comes with a um, specialized 3M um, film that's on top of them. Um, and it's uh, a film that's used in restaurants, for example, or, um, or public restrooms so that people don't do graffiti on the mirrors or the soapbox things and all that stuff. So it's a really um, durable film that's on every single MC Square makes it incredibly durable from drops and spills and, um, and kid fingers uh, as you know, dry, uh, using their fingers to clear the dry erase off the board. Um, we've gone to, uh, to trade shows and we've done a couple of maker fairs where uh, we've had hundreds of, of little kids uh, you know, using our boards and, uh, and drawing and making awesome things on them. And, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, they look good as new. So uh, our product, we feel, is just, uh, is just fantastic in that regard, in that aspect. So, Anthony, talk to us a little bit about some of the applications here. I mean, anybody can take a look at this and say, but but it's a whiteboard. Can't we just go to Staples and buy a whiteboard? But you guys really do have a little bit of a different angle on this. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, it's, it, that's a great question. Uh, we, um, you know, it just happens to have a dry erase surface. We're, we're not trying to compete with uh, with whiteboards or chalkboards. Um, it, it, it's more about how, how do people want to behave and how do um, facilitators want to create um, a collaborative environment. So it, it's, it's the, the, the dry erase surface is really the, the, after years of my own personal research on how people want to engage and actually create um, and share their ideas, dry erase is the best way to do that. Better than post-its, better than on a tablet. Um, so don't, even though part of the uh, product is a is a dry erase surface, <laughs> it's not it's not intended to replace the big huge whiteboard on a wall. Even though it can, it's, that's not its intended purpose. Um, and the way we're seeing them used, it, it's it's a it, it's obviously we have a lot of um, educational buyers. So anything from kindergartner kindergartners. I'm um, doing connect the dot puzzles on them and then drop, dropping it into a larger puzzle on a wall to teachers teaching how uh, molecular um, biology works and, and, uh, and using templates to show how those work as an individual student and then dropping those on a wall and having the students present back to, uh, back to the entire class to in the enterprise. We're seeing agile developers using uh, agile development, which is, a, which is a technical way of developing software. They're using these to plan their agile sprints. We're seeing project managers doing project management planning. We're seeing moms putting these on their refrigerators to plan their week out. So it's, it, it's, there are all kinds of applications, even though it's still primarily focused and designed for a collaborative environment. Now, these are squares, so it, does it matter which side is up when it comes to putting it on the wall? Nope, it's uh, omnidirectional. <laughs> and, and talk to us a little bit about, is this something that a teacher can just get out of the box and use, or do they need, I mean, I'm looking at what's behind you right now. These are on the wall, so are these screwed yes. in? Is this, what is it fastened with? Yeah, so the, the, um, the squares themselves come uh, packaged with, each individual tile comes packaged with what, what uh, with a mounting bracket, which you see that little uh, black shape behind me on on this side. That's a mounting bracket, and, and those do mount to a wall. We also sell those mounting brackets on panels. So you, so uh, schools have been buying um, panels of those, so you don't have to mount individual brackets. You can mount a full panel of it, just like you would a regular whiteboard. Um, and uh, the they they happen to mount on the wall, but it, but most of the time we're seeing them used in classroom. Um, in front of students. And um, a lot of teachers don't even worry about mounting them to the wall. They just have students work individually and then they come to a table and put them together. So it, it's a feature that isn't used by all of our uh, customers, but quite a few of them do mount them on the wall like these are. And as far as you know, equipment and supplies, typical whiteboard, dry erase markers, all that stuff can work any, on it. Any dry erase. We use dry erase We use and we use VisiV or wet erase markers. We use... Um, even the the paint markers will will dry off of them, and and I've been known to accidentally use a permanent marker on these things, and they and it still rubs off. So pretty much any marker will will suffice on these things. 
That is pretty cool. Now, tell us a little bit about the paper inside. Is that something that – obviously, you can take any sheet of paper and stick it in there, but do you guys yeah. offer that paper? Is there – you know, what types of options are available when it comes to the paper that fits into there? Well, to, to the, to, it comes with five uh, – it comes with ten templates, uh, uh, an ABC chart, a thought bubble, a uh, calendar, just a regular uh, dotted grid pattern. Um, are, but you absolutely can – print out your own sheets of paper and put them behind the dry erase surface effect. Our, our, our classrooms are doing that quite a bit where they print out an eight and a half by 11, which fits in nicely behind there. Although it's not square, it still fits underneath this, the square. And then if you want to print out custom templates, um, we offer a template uh, a, a guide on our website where you can just download and print out an 11 by 17 and cut those down into these, into these square into the square patterns. I mean, that's we, a, that we, sounds perfect. I mean, coming from a musical background, I can see kids composing music on that, popping it up on the wall. I think this is like one of the perfect solutions for, you know, like back to school night or whatever, where parents are coming in and you have an opportunity to to plaster the walls with student homework, artwork, anything like that. That sounds yeah. pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're seeing all of those things and others that, we, that have surprised us as well. We've even had... Um, one architecture firm um, print out the entire city of Denver uh, on on individual tiles and then a mosaic create a big huge basically puzzle out of these squares on their wall it's a beautiful mosaic piece of art that's also functional with a with a with a dry erase surface on it so map that to city planning or architecture or big puzzles for schools or big um, huge classroom assignments uh, those mosaic that mosaic learning could be really Really, really powerful, and we're creating content now to um, to s- kind of support that effort as we're seeing our customers use it. So, with everything going on with this system, you can clearly see there's a lot of potential here for amazing projects, amazing art, amazing homework, sharing things off. But what happens when that student is taking their MC squares and handling it to you and accidentally drops it on the floor? What does a teacher do if something does get damaged? Uh, so. It's happened. It's actually rare. We've we've run these things uh, through a bunch of tra- as Travis was saying earlier. We have hundreds and hundreds of students working with the same system that we go to trade shows with, and every once in a while, um, the plastic dry erase surface will break. If you send us that dry erase surface uh, that's broken, we'll just send you a brand new one back. So it's it's not like a an old. Um, you know, permanently mounted whiteboard system where if it goes or there's a big scratch, you'd have to replace the whole whiteboard. You just, for us, you just take the piece that's not working out, send it to us and we'll just, we'll just replace it. And as far as, you know, obtaining these, is this something that uh, a teacher needs to go directly through you? Is there a vendor? Is this something that a school district has to go through? Yeah. So um, we have a website, mcsquares.com and, and uh, we have um uh, unique uh, pricing for school districts, uh, depending on, we, we price it based on school district size. So they just need to send us an email at, uh, at education at mcsquares.com. And if they like the product and they like what's on our website, and we'll, we'll work with them to get them pricing that works for their district. That's absolutely great. Anthony and Travis, I love the product. Um, I'm looking forward. I actually picked one up here and I'm really, really interested in trying it out. I know I'll tell you, my, my two-year-olds really love this thing. It's, a, it's amazing <laughs> what, what kids are doing here with their creativity here. And, and so looking forward to seeing the kids playing with it, putting it up on the wall. And I don't know, maybe I'll put an MC Squares right behind here, and I'll use that uh, on the broadcast. That way people can that, see. That would be awesome. That way people can see what my babies are doing every single day, right? <laughs> so uh, before I let you guys go, like, what is the future of all of this? Like, Where, where do you see MC Squares three, five years uh, down the road here? Yeah, it's, I, it's, um, I want to be in every classroom. So. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it at all. Yeah, we, we, have, um, we have lots of really exciting products that are in the same vein and some really cool things coming out next year that um, make, these, make these even more exciting. I, unfortunately, I can't share anything with you yet, but we're a, a heavily R&D product-focused company, and... We have a great workshop that we're working on some really cool stuff for the future. That is cool. And if you ever need something r and d by a two-year-old, just let us know. <laughs> Will do. Um, one last time, where can we find uh, MC Squares? What's your Twitter? What's your, what's your handle? All that great stuff. Um, well, our website's mcsquares.com. And our Twitter handle is mc underscore squares. 
Travis, Anthony, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it. And please, when you do have those extra products coming out, let us know. We would love to have you on the show. Will do. And and I got to tell you guys out there, check it out, mcsquares.com. It is an amazing, amazing product. If you get five of them, if you get 25 of them, it is an amazing, amazing product. And it's a product that comes from viewers like you that reached out to us on a voicemail and said, I'm looking to put together something really, really dynamic for my school building what can I do? So if you have other questions, please leave us a voice message over on teachercast.net slash voicemail or email us at feedback at teachercast.net. I love the feedback. I love the comments. Keep them coming. Five years of podcasting and going strong here. Thank you guys so much for making TeacherCast your home for your professional development. My name is Jeff Bradbury. And until next time, keep up the great work in your classroom and continue sharing your passions with your students.